continues. Are you ready? Ready. Question six. Have you ever been physically attracted to a man? No. That answer is... True. That's right. Well, Denise, there, there you go. Whatever suspicion you may have had has been put to rest. Okay? And guess what? $10,000. Now, while $10,000 is certainly a lot of money, um, if you're planning a big wedding, that's not quite <laughs> enough. Yeah. So, would you like to continue? You need five more questions to get to $25,000. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Okay. <laughs> when two people get married, it's not only the union of your love, but it also, to some degree, unites the two families as well. Jeff, how would you say the two most important women in your life, which would be, I'm guessing, your fiance and your mom, Yeah. how do they get along? It's, uh, it's... Uh, yeah. They're definitely walking on uh, fragile grounds, I, I think. Question seven. Do you think Denise deliberately does things to upset your mother? Yes. That answer is... true. That's seven true. Eloisa, there was something you wanted to say? No, I, I understand, you know, sometimes it, there's differences, and but that doesn't bother me. I expect it, you know, I mean... Jeff, why do you think that she deliberately does that? I think to play around with her a little bit, you know, I, you know, keep her on her toes, kind of create excitement. I noticed that the demeanor has changed. Your smile has gone away. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? I don't do it to be mean. Question eight. Do you like Jeff's mother? <laughs> like Jeff's mother? Do you remember what you answered originally? I said no. And right now, what would you like to say that you believe would be the truthful answer to this question? I'm going to stick with my answer. Okay, let's see if it's right. That answer is... true. Truthful answers. What did you want to say? I have tried with her and everything. I have, and Jeff can tell you, I've always tried, bend over backwards to try to win her. I really wanted to make it work. Because if, if they're going to be married, you have to accept each other's families. That's the only way it's going to work. But you know, you get to a point where you can do so much. If they don't like you, they don't like you. I'm willing to try with Denise, but it takes two to try, and that's not happening. Yep. Yep. That's not happening. Denise, do you think that there's some truth to what she's saying? Are you not trying? Yeah, it's not that I don't try. It's kind of hard to get anywhere with that family. That's so. not true. Oh. That, that is not true. We have all tried. We have always given her her place. Trust me. It, it's Lori, not, that's not true. what would you like to say, Lori? Hold on, I'll let you Yes, I would like to say something. Please. Okay. My mother and I, we have never done anything. We've never talked bad about her, anything like that. She just does not like us. She doesn't like me. She doesn't like my mother. 
And it gets to the point where you can't take anymore. Your patience runs out, and it's like she doesn't it, try. Okay. She doesn't try at all. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? It's not that I don't I don't dislike his mom. It's not that I do, I do love her. I of course I do. she's going to be my mother-in-law. Well, that that doesn't mean you. <laughs> no, but but it's not just her. And as far as I can see, the only person in that family that is genuine is Sean. Jeff, how do you feel about this? Uh, you know, it's, I hate being put in the middle of it. You know, it's But it's you know tough. I have tried it, Jeff. I, I agree, I do. You're caught in a difficult situation. Jeff, anything you want to say about that? I just, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just wish two, two adults can come together and just have respect for one another. So we've heard a little bit about the rub. We've heard a lot about the rub between your fiance and your mother. How are you with Denise's family? I, I get along good with every, every single one of them, actually. Yeah. You feel that's the case, Michael and Steven? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like the most down to earth. If you can't get along with this guy, you know, get out of here. Question nine. Do you think Denise's brother, Michael, is stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think someone you know has been less than honest with you? Get the truth by playing the Moment of Truth Challenge. Text TRUTH to 33088 and you'll get a call back with details on how to play. Each challenge costs $1.99 plus standard text message rates. The Moment of Truth Challenge is for entertainment purposes only and you must be 18 or older. For more information, participating U.S. carriers and terms and conditions, go to fox.com slash moment of truth. Want the truth? Challenge someone today by texting TRUTH to 33088. The Moment of Truth continues. Question nine. Do you think Denise's brother, Michael, is stupid? <laughs> Question is on you, Jeff. Do you think Denise's brother Michael is stupid? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. no. That answer is true. Would you like to tell us why? He seems yeah. like a bright guy to me. Well, you know, he is. He's very, he's, uh, he's very tech savvy. He's, he's intelligent, actually. But, uh, you know, stupid is as stupid does. That's right, Forrest. And uh, I think he might know where I'm going with that. You know, it's, it's on a female naiveness kind of level. You know, he's very naive with the females. Anything you want to say, Michael? No. You've answered nine truthfully. And we are playing a game that can put significant money in your pocket. But at what expense? Denise, out of all of Jeff's relatives, who would you say is your favorite? Who do you like? Sean. Question 10. Would you be happy if you never saw Jeff's sister, Lori, again? <laughs> It wouldn't bother me if I never saw her again. So I'm gonna have to say yes. Okay. I would be happy. That answer is true. Okay, that's 10 truthful. What's the deal, you guys? What what is it? First of all, you Lori, and then we'll try to do this civilly, and I'll let you both have a chance to speak. What is the deal that has you guys at this much of odds? I, I, I don't know what got it started, but I mean, I came to Cali four years ago for graduation. Just the way that she is, she's not friendly. Okay. Um, she's just, she's disrespectful towards my family. 
and I don't like that. I'm used to people who, even if they don't like the person, they still show them respect. And she okay. doesn't do that. Is that fair, Denise? Respect? You didn't show me any respect when you came out. You disrespected me in my own house and our friends when we dropped everything to cater to your needs and you were ungrateful. That's where the problem is. Denise? Denise? How did you feel she disrespected you? I didn't mind she was there. She was rude to our friends. You feel that's true, Jeff? I, as much as I love my family, I love Denise as well. Um, she did, when she did come out on the vacation, she wasn't acting like she should have. Okay. Yeah. That being said, you've also said that she doesn't act the way she should have around your family. Correct. Is that true as well, Jeff? I'd say it goes both ways, yeah. Okay. I, I know growing up with you, you're not the easiest person to get along with, but straight up, you guys both need to swallow your pride because it's really stupid. Let it go. I'm sorry. Let's just move on and, and end it. We're on our way towards $500,000, okay? And you're one question away from $25,000, which is an important step. It's on you now, Jeff. You're caught between a very difficult situation, between your mom and the woman you've chosen to love. Question 11. You love Denise more than your own mother. of truth will continue. The moment of truth continues. Question 11. You love Denise more than your own mother. Yes. That answer is... True. First thing short of $25,000, you guys. That's your money to keep no matter what. And it's a tough decision to make. Zeluisa, how do you feel about it? That's the way it should be. When you love someone, I feel that the wife comes first, then the parents, and then the kids. $25,000 is yours, but at what cost? You have to answer four more questions to get to $100,000. That's only four questions, but boy, oh boy. I mean, do you want to do that? Yes, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. You're not going to lose any money. Denise? Yes. Okay, I hope that's the right decision for you two. I wish you the best. Denise, how are your wedding plans coming along? Uh, they're not. They're not? <laughs> kind of on hold? Uh, I mean, I've looked. I haven't made any rash decisions. Or any concrete decisions? No, not. Okay, so you sort of throw it. Except for a dress. You got the dress handled. I know which one I want. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't have it yet, but I know. Question 12, Denise. Since being engaged to Jeff, have you secretly met with a former boyfriend? The 
question is, since being engaged to Jeff, have you secretly met with a former boyfriend? Yes or no? Well, we don't go into that one. Here's the replacement question. It's still on you. Are you okay, Denise? Yeah. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the time when you and Jeff were separated. We were separated. How long? Um, five and a half, six months. Well, that's a long time. Not really. Here's the replacement question. While separated from Jeff, did you have unprotected sex with another man? That answer is true. Okay, you got through that. The button worked. Got it. But Jeff, were you aware of this? Um, you know, it was uh, it was something that was kind of in the front of my mind. Uh, nothing in set in stone. Um, so, no, I guess. Anything you want to say to your future husband? Okay. Okay. That's 12. You're getting a taste of how difficult the next questions are. Are you close with Denise's friends, Jeff? Um, her past friends, yes. Question 13. Have you ever had sexual relations with any of Denise's girlfriends? The moment of truth will continue. She's gonna be my mother-in-law. Well, that, that doesn't mean you... No, but, but it's not just her. And as far as I can see, the only person in that family that is genuine is Sean. Jeff, how do you feel about this? Uh, you know, it's, I hate being put in the middle of it. You know, it's But it's you know tough. I have tried it, Jeff. I, I agree, I do. You're caught in a difficult situation. Jeff, anything you want to say about that? I just... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just wish two, two adults can come together and just have respect for one another. So we've heard a little bit about the rub heard a lot about the rub between your fiance and your mother. How are you with Denise's family? I, I get along good with every, every single one of them, actually. Yeah. You feel that's the case, Michael and Steven? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like the most down to earth. If you can't get along with this guy, you know, get out of here. Question nine. Do you think Denise's brother, Michael, is stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, why do you think that she deliberately does that? I think to play around with her a little bit. You know, I, you know, keep her on her toes, kind of create excitement. I noticed that the demeanor has changed. Your smile has gone away. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? I don't do it to be mean. Question eight. Do you like Jeff's mother? <laughs> Do you like Jeff's mother? Do you remember what you answered originally? And right now, what would you like to say that you believe would be the truthful answer to this question? I'm going to stick with my answer. Okay, let's see if it's right. 
That answer is true. Hey, you got to go for it. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When two people get married, it's not only the union of your love, but it also, to some degree, unites the two families as well. Jeff, how would you say the two most important women in your life, which would be, I'm guessing, your fiance and your mom, yeah. how do they get along? It's, uh, it's... Yeah. They're definitely walking on uh, fragile grounds, I, I think. Question seven. Do you think Denise deliberately does things to upset your mother? Oh. Yes. That answer is... True. That's 17. Eloisa, there was something you wanted to say? No, it, I understand, you know, sometimes it, there's differences, and, but that doesn't bother me. I expect it, you know. The moment of truth continues. Are you ready? Ready. Question six. Have you ever been physically attracted to a man? That answer is... Come on, dude. True. Well, Denise, there, there you go. Whatever suspicion you may have had has been put to rest, okay? And guess what? $10,000. Now, while $10,000 is certainly a lot of money, um, if you're planning a big wedding, that's not quite enough. So, would you like to continue? You need five more questions to get to $25,000. Go! That's eight truthful answers. What did you want to say? I have tried with her and everything. I have, and Jeff can tell you, I've always tried, bend over backwards to try to win her. I really wanted to make it work. Because if they're going to be married, you have to accept each other's families. That's the only way it's going to work. But you know, you get to a point where you can do so much. If they don't like you, they don't like you. I'm willing to try with Denise, but it takes two to try, and that's not happening. Yep. That's not happening. Denise? Do you think that there's some truth to what she's saying? Are you not trying? Yeah, it's not that I don't try. It's kind of hard to get anywhere with that family. That's not true. Oh. That's, that is not true. We have all tried. We have always given her her place. Trust me. It, it's Lori, not, that's not true. what would you like to say, Lori? Hold on, I'll let you Yes, I would like to say something. Please. Okay. My mother and I, we have never done anything. We've never talked bad about her, anything like that. She just does not like us. She doesn't like me. She doesn't like my mother. And it gets to the point where you can't take anymore. Your patience runs out, and it's like... But she doesn't it, try. She doesn't try at all. Is there anything you want to say about that, Denise? It's not that I don't I don't dislike his mom. It's not that. I do, I do love her. I, of course, it, 